I want to do gel printing with stuff from the garden and some deli paper. Welcome back friends. So today I wanted to revisit the botanicals and I picked some leaves and some weeds from the garden and I just used deli paper. I wanted to get a different look this time. So let's take a look at what happened. So in addition to only using deli paper, I'm also going to use different paint. Now Golden makes an open paint that has a slower drying time. If you're not familiar with them, they are really good if you like oil painting and you don't like acrylics. But I never really liked them on the gel plate. But today I decided I'm going to give it a try. So I have this tube of open. It's, uh, it was a freebie that I got when I went to one of their um, lectures where they, where they walk you through all the different um, types of products that they sell, which is really great. If you ever can go to one of those, um, try to go. They sometimes hold them at um, art supply stores like Blick or Jerry's Artorama. Since the pandemic, I have not seen any of those, but they're local demonstrations that a, um, a representative artist from your area that will actually demonstrate and show you which each medium does and what all the different types of paints do. Anyway, so let's move on. This, so this is an alizarin crimson and I am just laying down some leaves on the plate. These are some weeds over here and some grasses. And we're going to see how open paint re responds on the, on the gel plate. So I'm going to pick up with um, deli paper. They will all be on deli paper. But and normally I love the negative prints on deli paper, but some of these negative shapes are just a little bit too big, a little too open. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm going to like that, but I still have to pick up that paint from the background. Now, as you could see, there's still a lot of paint on that background. So I'm going to get another deli sheet and I'm going to try to pick up the rest of the paint and I'm going to get a slightly lighter print than the first one, which might give me a really nice effect. I mean, I like the first one, but this one might even be better. I'm trying to get a nice clean background. Okay. And I'll, I'll show you these at the end. So, I also was, I didn't have to move quite as fast because it's open paint and the open paints take longer to dry. Now there's a disadvantage to that if you're working in a small space like I am because you cannot just pile them on top of each other because they're not dry. So make sure if you try this that you have space in your studio or wherever you're working to lay out these prints to dry because they take a couple of hours to fully, fully dry. So another thing I want to mention is the feeling of your hand over the paper with the open paint. It almost feels like the paint is one with the plate, that you don't feel the paint at all. Now I still have some paint left on the plate. I can't really tell how much because of the ranger mat, but I'm going to try to pick it up. The deli paper really does a great job of picking up all of the paint. So we shall see. It's a very faint print, but it'll be nice because of the transparency. And look at all that oil that the paper is picking up from the plate. So through this entire session, I noticed a lot of oil being picked up from my plate. I did condition it recently, so maybe that's why that's happening. Anyway, we're going to use the same alizarin crimson again. At this time in the session, I thought that that was the only open paint that I had. But I, do, I did find some other colors, but they were very sticky, so I didn't, didn't use them at all. So I'm going with these other leaves now. And that big fern should make a nice imprint.
And again, we're going to, I'm really going to go in between those leaves, each individual, and, and I'm really pressing down so that the fern makes a good imprint on the plate. And in this case, I don't, I'm not as happy with the negative prints like I normally am. And look at how much is still on the plate. But, you know, the negative, the, the leaves are covering so much of the plate that the negative is not, not very much fun. But anyway, we're going to keep picking up from the background. And I'm being careful not to shift the leaves so that they stay kind of in the same place. And I'm just picking up more paint from the background. I want to get a clean print. I'm still, there's still, I must have put a little heavier coat this time. Still paint. So I'm picking up a third time. I'm going for a real clean background. And my end result will be that I'll have positive prints on deli paper with a transparent background. That's what I'm going for. And look at how pretty that is. A lot of detail there. And of course, it's all over my leaves, which I also have to wait to dry. And you can see already the oil that is picking up where, where the paper looks more transparent. I don't understand it. I've never had this experience before, but I don't think it's just because I'm using open paint, but I might be wrong. Not really sure. I'm going to keep an eye out for it the next time I use regular paint. So I'm going to get two prints out of this. You see this one is nice dark fern print, but look at that nice light one. And that's probably going to be nice. And I'm carefully laying down the deli paper so that it's not wrinkled. I think it's going to be nice. Second print, this one is going to be good. So like I said, all your leaves have to be laid out to dry if you plan on keeping them and using them again. And all these papers have to be laid out till they dry. And they took about two hours to fully dry where you can lay them one on top of the other. Okay, so here's a recap. This was the very first that I picked up the background and I love that painterly feel. I love the way the weeds look. Uh, the big open areas, actually this is the first one because this is the darker one, but it, it still has that painterly feel to it. The natural wrinkles of the deli paper are showing and it's just so that whole lower left hand corner is something that I'll probably use in collage. So let's again look at the lighter one. So the lighter one is going to show other colors through even the background area, the alizarin crimson area. It's lighter, it's very painterly so I love that feeling. And here's the positive. And I did overlay some yellow that I found. It was a little sticky, but I decided to give it a try. And you'll see those green splotches. That was from some paint that was still not dry that was on one of the leaves or, or one, one of the grasses. So you do have to wait for everything to dry in between. And that could be a real pain if you're just trying to move along and get some printing done. So on this one, I didn't bother to save the first prints, you know, where I was just picking up the background because the negative print did absolutely nothing for me. I'll never use that paper. So for me, it was just a throwaway paper. But I really like the, I like this dark one, but I think I like the light one even better because this one I can use more delicately in a collage. I think it'll be really pretty over another color, a lighter color. And I could probably um, do something a little bit more unique. And it doesn't even have to necessarily read that it's a botanical. It just needs to be shapes. So I never thought I would revisit open paint on the gel plate because let me tell you, I tried that early in my jelly printing experience 
and it was a nightmare. I did not like it at all. Thought that the problem was the plate and it was actually the open paint. For this process though, the open paint actually gave me a nicer result. I was very, very pleased with the softness of it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll have another video for you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.